All right, today we're talking about hoaxing, specifically a hoaxer named Randy Brisson. Now, Randy Brisson is a Bigfoot investigator out of Canada. During a group outing in Canada with Thomas Steenberg, Bill Miller, and some other people, Randy Brisson was caught red-handed throwing a rock and blaming it on Bigfoot. So this is 100% confirmed. Thomas Steenberg saw Randy Brisson throw the rock, then try to blame it on Bigfoot. So this really isn't up for debate if he is a hoaxer or not. He is a hoaxer, which then calls into question everything he's done up to this point. Now, Randy is well known for being on Surviving Man Bigfoot and also for that photo of what he is saying is a Bigfoot head. Now, John Kirk and Thomas Steenberg actually found where that photo was taken of that head. And as you see in the photo, it, there's no way that that is a Bigfoot head. It looks like he just created a ball and drew Bigfoot on there and, and just kind of put it there. And, you know, the other suspicious thing is that there's only one photo when there should be more than one photo. So that there is also a red flag. But since we now know Randy Brisson is a hoaxer, you know, kind of we can safely say that that photo is not real. And it's OK to go to that um, to that thought process because Randy was already caught lying and manipulating a group of people with his Bigfoot evidence. So it's not that far of a stretch to say, hey, Randy would also hoax this as well and, and the other video that he has as well. So there's zero reason to believe that anything coming out of the Randy Brisson camp is legitimate. He's been a proven hoaxer. So that's kind of where we're at with it. So there's also the Randy Brisson fan club people that I will likely support him in hearing this and probably say that me and Thomas and everybody else are just jealous of Randy because he's out there getting all this quality evidence and, and whatever, you know, that type of argument is ridiculous and laughable. It's just, you know, it's, it's the only defense that you really can give uh, in this case because, you know, you can't address the facts that he was caught hoaxing. You have to come create it like, oh, we're the ones that are causing the issue and we're the ones that are, you know, up to no good when in fact you're just kind of protecting somebody who lied and manipulate to you. So, you know, you don't want to be in that type of relationship with somebody. So, you know, if you're watching this and a supporter of his, you might want to think twice about it because, you know, like I say, it's 100% confirmed. Randy Brisson is a hoaxer. Zero reason to believe it. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, hey, Brent, don't you ever talk about more positive Bigfoot stuff and stuff that will help lead us to Bigfoot or whatever? And yeah, you know, I, I do at times, but I also feel that there's a lot that we can learn in the hoaxing aspect of the subject, the underbelly of the subject. We can uh, identify how hoaxers will operate, that they are actually in fact in this subject and that these are the different tactics that they'll use to hoax and keep their hoax going and to get their followers to go attack the people who are uh, pulling up the evidence to show that they're hoaxing. So, you know, that's kind of where we're at with this whole thing and it's up to everybody if they want to believe Thomas or not. I, for one, truly believe Thomas. He has a lot of integrity, never lied about anything. And, you know, it's not that uh, far of a stretch to think that Randy is, is hoaxing his, all his evidence and everything that he's talking about. And, you know, Randy is a Bigfoot influencer, so he is held to a higher standard than most. And, you know, when you're a Bigfoot influencer and you get caught hoaxing, well, you got to expect videos like this to be made and that information to come out. So, you know, moral of the story is don't hoax because people will eventually find out. And at that point, you're done. Your integrity has gone. It's, that's your that's your legacy right there is a hoaxer. So it's best to never go down that road. Best to keep it honest, even though it's not the popular route to go, but it, it will in the wrong long run give you um, the answers that you'll hopefully uh, are looking for. So without further ado, here is Thomas talking about catching Randy Brisson red handed, throwing that rock and blaming it on Bigfoot. But there are a lot of hoaxes that I made angry because I wouldn't play their game. Or I had the the uh, unmitigated nerve to expose their nonsense. I like uh, 
uh, one Randy Brisson here in the uh, lower mainland British Columbia in Gold Deers Park. I mean, I caught him red-handed throwing rocks. He still to this day denies it, but and he's got his little legion of followers who take yes. his word as gospel. So they go ahead. Like I said, inmates running the asylum. The inmates aren't really interested in me or my opinion. Right, but you had an, you, you had somebody else stay stay behind a little bit too, so there was somebody else who saw him through. Oh, I knew something. Uh, the whole group knew it by the end of the trip. Yeah, <laughs> and I I just told one guy, hey, keep him be keep keep behind him. Don't let him get in behind the group because every time something happens, when he disappears to the side to the rear, point is, like most hoaxing, they can't stop themselves, and he had to get that last rock in, and he happened to throw it right when I was looking at him. So. 